Welcome to Engineering Funda family. This video is a part of Microcontroller 8051 video lecture series and in this video I'll be going to explain you PSW means program status word flag register of 8051. My dear students here what I'll do is I'll explain you one practical example by which I'll explain you how flags of 8051 is getting affected after execution of every instruction. So let us see all those things step by step. So here my dear students when we talk about PSW then you should know it is program status word that is also referred as flag register of 8051 and size of flag register is of 8 bits with 8051 microcontroller. Here one more thing that is very essential that you should know that is this PSW is bit addressable. So single bit can be addressed over here like for example if you want to address carry flag then you will have to use address as per PSW.7. So that is the address of this carry flag. Likewise, all the bits that can be addressed as per single bit in 8051 microcontroller. Here, my dear students, let me give you one example so that it will give you more clarity. For example, when you execute add A comma R1, you will be adding A and R1 and answer will get stored inside A. Let us say A is CC hex means 1100 and let us say R1 is E6 hex means it is 3110 and 6 means 0110. Here we will be adding both. So let us add this two in binary. So here 0 plus 0 that is 0, then 0 plus 1 that is 1, then 1 plus 1 that is 2 but in binary it should be having 0 over here and carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 0 that is again 0 over here and carry 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 that is 1 here, 0 plus 1 that is 1, 1 plus 1 that is 2 means 0 over here and carry over here, 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 means in binary it will be 1 here and carry 1. That is how binary addition is happening and this binary value that is what 8 bits of answer which is there inside A. So you see 1 0 1 1 that is B and 0, 0, 1, 0, that is 2 hex. So this is hexadecimal value. Here you need to see how binary operation is happening so that you can understand how all these flags are there. So here when we talk about this first bit that is P bit that is a parity bit. This parity bit explains whether answer is having even parity or odd parity. For odd parity P is equals to 1 and odd parity means what? Number of ones in answer that is odd. And for even parity P is 0 over here, what it means number of ones in answer that will be even. So here you see how many ones are there in answer, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 4 ones are there in this answer, what it means? It is having even parity means P should be 0 after execution of this instruction with this flag. Now my dear students, I will explain you OVR overflow flag. Overflow flag is used with signed operation only. Remember this, it is used with signed operation. And overflow means what? Overflow means answer cannot be stored in the range of signed number. So here 8051, that is 8 bits of microcontroller. So for 8 bits, what is the range of signed number? 127 to minus 128. So if your answer goes beyond this range, then overflow is equals to 1. So in signed number only you will have to see. For unsigned number range will be from 0 to 255. But for signed number range will be 127 to minus 128. And here whenever overflow happens at that time my dear students you should know here with this result MSB becomes wrong. What is MSB? MSB explains you whether given number is positive or negative. Like you see with A initially MSB is 1 means this data is negative. Here also with R1 MSB that is 1 means this data is also negative. And the value that you can identify based on 2's complement. Here once you execute any instruction and as if overflow is happening then my dear students this MSB becomes wrong. Remember this. Now how to identify overflow in any operation? So for that you will have to see this two bits of carry. Now here see this is actual carry and this is a carry over D7 bit. So when you XOR this two bit at that time you will be finding overflow flag. So here carry flag that is 1 
and d7 bit carry that is also 1 1 xor 1 that is 0 means for this signed operation overflow that is 0 so there is no overflow that you can say so that is how we can identify overflow now my dear students i'll explain you rs0 and rs1 these two bits these two bits are resistor bank select bits you should know my dear students with 8051 we have four resistor banks bank 0, bank 1, bank 2 and bank 3. Each resistor bank that is having 8 resistors, name is R0 to R7 only, means 8 resistors are there. So in total how many resistors could be there with 8051? 32. 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 means total 32 resistors are available for programming. Here you see I have written R1, so that is a resistor. But for which bank it is there, for that you need to see what is this RS bits. By default, it will be 0, 0, means it will be selecting resistor bank 0. But as if programmer wants some other resistor bank, in that case, programmer will have to change this RS bit. And for that, as I have told you, this PSW flag resistor that is bit addressable, so by using CLR and SETB instructions, we can select this resistor bank. You see, here I have given one example like I have written clear PSW dot 4. What it means? This RS1 bit that is now 0 and when I write SETB PSW dot 3 means I am setting this RS0 bit to 1. Means now my RS bits that is 0 1. What it means? I am selecting resistor bank 1. As if it is the case then this R1 resistor that is a resistor of resistor bank 1. But as if the value of RS is different, then based on the value, you can have other resistor bank as well. Now, my dear students, let me explain you this PSW.5. So that explains you user defined flag. So user can use this as per their programming. Here you can, you can set this by using this CLR and SETB instructions, right? To set this big, you can do SETB. PSW.5 and as if you want to clear this you can use CLR space PSW.5 so you user can use this right now my dear students let us see what is AC flag that is PSW.6 so that is auxiliary carry flag auxiliary carry is a nibble to nibble carry nibble means what four bits so you see here we have this addition now in this addition this four bits that is lower nibble and this 4 bits that is upper nibble. So 4 bits means nibble. So nibble to nibble carry that is auxiliary carry. So here you see lower nibble and this is my upper nibble of answer. So here you see this carry that is auxiliary carry that is nibble to nibble carry. So that is one over here. So in this particular execution of instruction this auxiliary carry that will be one. Now last is carry flag. So, if result is having carry, you can say this carry flag will become 1. If result is having no carry, you can say carry flag will be 0. Here you see result is having this carry, right? This is my resultant carry. So, you can say carry flag is 1 for this particular example. So, here my dear students, all these bits of this flag resistors are bit addressable by using CLR SETB instructions. We can clear and set all these bits as per the requirement in program. So this is how flag resistor is there with microcontroller 8051. I hope it is clear to you. Still, if any confusion is there, just post that in the comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.